Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A new feature that can really improve the speed of company file creation is the new ability to copy and paste data into lists within QuickBooks 2010 and 2011 from Microsoft Excel. You can now easily copy and paste data from an Excel worksheet into the customers, vendors, service items, inventory part, and non-inventory part lists within your company file. In order to perform this task, first select Lists from the menu bar, and then choose the Add Edit Multiple List Entries command. Doing this will open the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. As you can see from the information shown at the top of this window, copying and pasting data into this window from Excel is a three-step process. First, use the List drop-down at the top of the window to select the list into which you would like to copy data from your Excel worksheet. When you select a list, you will see the appropriate columns of information displayed at the bottom of the window. Now, all lists must contain the Name column shown, as that is the column used to identify the items within the list. Next, you can customize the columns shown in this window to match the columns within your Excel worksheet. In order to do this, you can click the Customize Columns button that appears in the upper right corner of this window. In the Customize Columns window that appears, you can select column names from the available columns and chosen column lists and then click either the Add or Remove buttons to add or remove the desired columns. If you wish to reorganize their display, you can select the name of a column shown in the chosen columns list and then click the Move Up or Move Down buttons in order to move the selected fields up or down within the list. The order that they are displayed from top to bottom within the chosen columns list is the order in which they will be displayed from left to right in the window once you click the OK button to approve your change. Now after you have the desired columns shown in the correct order within the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window, you can then copy the data from your Microsoft Excel worksheet and paste it into the columns shown within the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. Now once you've finished copying and pasting the data, you can then click the Save Changes button to save your new list entries. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.